I can't wait to get up into this mess with you guys. So this month, my partner did a lot of side jobs, um, but doesn't quite have a full-time position yet because it is in September and he was going to become a teacher. Um, but the money for the side jobs isn't going to come in because it's through nonprofit organizations that he's working for. And um, there's just like different little organizations of doing poetry workshops and editing a manuscript and doing two book reviews and other things. But you'll see those when they, when they happen, but we just haven't gotten the money for any of those yet. So I will pop up the earnings right here. And the first thing that we did was we sold some stuff on Craigslist. We've been trying like with Craigslist, but it's like people are very annoying through there um, but anyway we sold a table with two chairs and that was thirty dollars and then we sold one of our old cell phones for twenty five so we made fifty five there then my partner got a great opportunity from his uncle he was going to pay for the flea market spot with parking which was thirty dollars Dimitri didn't have to pay anything and he sold one hundred and seventeen dollars worth of things a lot of the things that he brought there were, were things that we wanted to sell on Craigslist, but they were also random stuff that we just picked up around the house. We were like, see if you can sell this. And then it sold. Like, somebody bought a freaking um, Dodge Poetry water bottle for a dollar. Somebody bought a book of poems of Demetri. And we just, like, picked those up at last minute, and then they sold. So that's really funny that that happened. And then the third thing that, that um, we got, well, it was Dimitri. We don't know why he got it either. He got 1028 from Rutgers. And we don't know why he got that check, but it actually just went in like last Friday. So we were like, okay. <laughs> and that's like the funny thing about this relationship is that there's always money coming in from like all these different places that we have no idea why it comes in, you know? And I guess it's just like trying to have a positive mindset about money. Um... And so that was it. So in total, we made one hundred and eighty-two twenty-eight. Now, for what we invested, and we went a little crazy this month because, as you know, we're minimalist and we we truly don't buy anything. I mean, you're you're going to see our little um, Excel spreadsheets, and we don't really purchase a lot of like fun things like shoes and jewelry and all that stuff. Um, we just sort of wait a while, and then we don't have interest any in, in some of it anymore, and then we just won't buy it. So we have the typical rent, which got taken out like super late, got taken out like the 20th or the 25th, but that was 520. And then for food, we went over by 63 cents. So it was 240, 63. And then car insurance will happen in October, but I like to leave it there as a reminder that basically it's like $100 every month is what it equals, but we pay it in full, so we get more of a discount. And we didn't expect him to do so much driving this month. He did like way more driving than we than we thought. And so he needed sixty dollars of gas instead of forty. Also, it's like so high right now. He can't even get half a tank with like twenty bucks. So it's dramatic. Um, and then transportation, he ended up not going anywhere. This is like New York, Jersey City, Hoboken. He takes the train, light rails, buses to get to places sometimes. And um, he didn't end up having to do any of that this month, but he will next month. And our phone bill is always fifty flat. The other thing is Cass, which is our cat. We did 59.16 on her and she's eating very healthy. She doesn't like her food. I think it's like forcing somebody to eat very clean and like species appropriate. And she's like, I don't like this. So sometimes we have to spoon feed her. Um, and then life insurance for my partner. No, I don't have any. It's 518, but I hope to get some one day because I think it's super important. Do you guys have life insurance? Yes or no? Um, then the Praxis, which is like the state exam to become a teacher. Um, my partner paid 60 and he passed. It was so shocking because he only studied for two days. And then for eBay, right, uh, my partner spent 80 a one. He got, it, it was so needed. I actually want to insert uh, pictures of the before and after. You're going to be embarrassed. <laughs> um, so he bought, he repurchased a pair of Nike Revolution 2s. And then he got a pair of, he was supposed to get a pair of Etnies again, but they, but they didn't have them. So he just bought a pair of like used bands. But I'll show you the side-by-side -side comparisons of how ridiculous, like how much we wait to the point where it's embarrassing and unnecessary in life. Um, and then he got a, some clippers. That was in total 801. Two pair of sneakers and, and a set of clippers. Then I was in dire need. I mean, I'm not going to show you a picture of this. I'll embarrass my partner, but I'm not going to embarrass him. <laughs> so I actually got two pair of Everlast shorts from Kmart, which are my favorite shorts. They're spandex. They're so comfortable. Biker shorts. They're like mid-thigh. So not too short and not too long. And I got two bras, like sports bras for Everlast, and I've been running lately and just like now at this point I've lost 31 pounds so last month it was 20 total this month it's 31 and my partner lost like how many pounds since you've been here 20 
20 pounds 20 pounds so I'm just like really proud of us um, so that was $29.50 for the two shorts and the two bras which I definitely needed because I went down from an extra large to a large and for the bottoms I went down from a large to a medium I'm not really a medium yet they're actually really tight but I plan on being a medium this month um, then my partner um, he like did a poetry event which actually he just uploaded a video on his channel I'm not sure if you guys are like into poetry but um, it was about immigration and the kids being ripped away from their families and so he donated $5 because it was a donating event and to get people to vote also um, he donated $5 to Raices how do you say that word? Races. Races. Oh but it's R-A-I-C-E-S then he went to a poetry party and it was $10 but they charged him a $1.50 um, fee and he got a poetry book with that, some vegan food, which he didn't even get to eat. And then there was like a cake and stuff, which he didn't get to eat. And then there was like music, a lot of poetry vibes. Everybody was like so nice. And he actually won the raffle and got his second book. So I'm just like, yes, I'm so happy that I, like, you know, when things are just like cheaper and cheaper, I get like really satisfied in my life. Um, and then the last thing is um, we got takeout twice. So the first time, my partner's grandmother played me out. Like, he went to her house. That's the Cuban side of him. She made yuca with arroz blanco, like white rice, and salad and other things. And tell me why there was no food left for him to bring home for me. I got two hash browns from Dunkin' Donuts, which are nasty. It made me sick because they're so greasy, for $2.32. And then there was another time where we paid $10 to get french fries and fried plantain from um, the Chinese store which is like the devil I haven't ordered from there in a long time because it's addictive we were expecting to spend 974.34 we actually ended up investing 1133.30 and so that was in like an overdoing it by like 158.96 and in total we hit a loss dramatically we did not get <laughs> 9.51.02 but está bien because Dimitri is going to be getting more money coming in and also let's just hope that he finally gets a salary job in September and that I could get my stuff together and just figure out how to make more income like any income even if it's like five dollars you know um bless you all I want to know if have any of you guys been budgeting how's it going this is like the worst month and also even if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's not private, so you should go check out my latest post on how my kitchen looks, my refrigerator, my freezer. Like, y'all need to see how little food we had for like this whole week. I've been stressed. This is why we lost 30.1 pounds. <laughs> anyway, bye. Bless you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next video.